We're joined by CBS News special correspondent and host of the NFL Today and Inside the NFL on Paramount Plus, James Brown. JB, thanks for being with us. Let's start with, with Mr. Madden's NFL career. What kind of impact did Madden have as a coach in the league? You know, well, I know many of us, as my colleague, uh, the face and voice of CBS Sports, Jim Nance, said, it's a blue day for many. Bradley, you see the smile on my face because whenever you think about John Madden, that's the impact that he had on everyone. He brought a smile to all of us. He made the game very understandable. His impact is indelible. In as much as Roger Goodell, the commissioner, had him as a lifelong consultant to him as well, too. You look at those pictures there with him coaching the Raiders. That he loved immensely. Al Davis, the owner of the Raiders, loved him. Al Davis had a keen eye for talent on the field, but also off the field. Look at John. He's explaining the game, breaking it down in simple language. Yeah, he can be tough as well, too, as you see him probably arguing about something that the officials uh, uh, made incorrectly out there. But John had great respect and passion for the game, and that's why his impact is indelible. JB, he was not afraid to get technical either with viewers at home. We saw that in the package with Jim, all his work on the Telestrator there, explaining plays, getting into it from his perspective as a coach. He, he started his career here on CBS, and he's regarded as one of the greatest sports broadcasters of all time. So how do you think he influenced uh, his profession, your profession, I should say, and what do you think his legacy will be? Well, his influence, uh, Ted Shaker, the executive producer at the time, caught John Madden uh, in terms of recognizing that raw talent that he brought to the table to make the game exciting. But you talked about the technical understanding. We have all been taught, Bradley, to make the game simple, to borrow an expression from another person I uh, have high regard for in the business. He said to, um, to sugarcoat the education pill, make it simple. I talked to... Um, a family friend, a lady who said she didn't even love football, but because he was so such a big personality, uh, she remembers the words that he used in describing plays, boom, which we all know of. But she also brought up another one. Doink was another one. When do you hear doink being talked about in a football game? <laughs> but he took the complicated and he made it simple. And on Monday mornings, people were at the water cooler and old school reference talking about the game, but how John Madden educated them in a very simple, understandable fashion. JB, we were talking about this in our editorial meeting this morning. Some people are going to remember John Madden as a coach, others as a broadcaster, but many younger people remember him from the popular video game franchise Madden NFL. He got involved in gaming very early. What kind of impact do you think that game has on sports now and also on the wider gaming culture? I would dare say if you ask anybody in the gaming community, be they old school or youngsters, it is Madden, simply known as Madden, that is the iconic game, is the one that cuts across every demographic, every age group, for all the reasons, Bradley, that you and I just talked about, because he made it fun. Look, we, we're talking about turducken. Was that even a word <laughs> in the English language before? A turkey with like six to eight legs? Number two, he made it so much fun for everybody because he really was the one who pointed out the role that big men, he called them the fat hogs on the offensive and defensive line. You saw one of the people who got a turkey as the most valuable player in that footage there, and it was the big guy, Jerry, he said, who won the MVP because John, a big guy himself, wanted to show the very valuable role that, in his words, please forgive my indelicate reference, the big, fat slugs who made it happen for all the other superstars out there, truly underscoring that it's a team game, and that's whether it's in sports, in the world of business, or broadcasting. JB, some people might have had a Christmas turducken over the weekend because of John Madden. Well, you know what? Um, I'm trying to use this forced isolation period to reduce and maybe just be called the duckin', but not the turducken. So... <laughs> I want to ask you again, though, a little bit more about his coaching career. Uh, he still holds mm -hmm. the franchise record for the most wins as a head coach. How important was Matt into the success of the Raiders during and after his retirement? Or I should say during and Bradley, after his time there. Sorry. You know what, Bradley? Great question, because he emphasized in the documentary that aired this past weekend, and of course now will be viewed even more so, what was most important to him was being a player. 
He didn't make it, although he was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles. He did not make it as a player. So second most important to him was being a coach. He wanted to be recognized by his peers for what he had done as a coach. And he got to 100 wins uh, in that short career of just 10 years. It's still a record that he has the greatest winning percentage of any coach with 100 wins. That meant the most to him. But because he loved the sport so much, he exuded all of this enthusiasm. Yeah, you see him with the telestrator there or that board, but he made it fun because he often highlighted players, those big, fat slugs down in the trenches when they had dirt in their helmet. Who could make dirt and grass in a helmet seem like something interesting for the game? But that's because he spoke to everyone in terms of making it so that it was common, it was easily understood, sugarcoating the education pill. And youngsters today are learning the game because of that Madden game. But be clear, being a player, being a coach was significantly important to him to get into the Hall of Fame for what he did as a coach on the sidelines, yes. And, J.B., before we let you go, I want to ask you, do you have any personal stories of you and John that you can share with us? Well, I know that Ted Shaker, who hired both of us, and I was at CBS the first time around when John Madden was here, he was very careful and making sure that he got a chance to get his feet wet with small regional games. I know the first game that I got to do was a play-by-play -play guy in which I butchered things up and said a player was tackled on the 60-yard line. There's no such thing as a 60-yard <laughs> line in American football, but the game only was televised to the TV truck. He gave Madden a little bit bigger an audience and said, well, J.B., his first game was televised to the local 7-Eleven in the city where he was doing the game. <laughs> what a story there. JV, thank you yeah. for sharing your memories and helping us remember John Madden today. We appreciate it. Hey, Bradley, thank you so much. And please tell Sharon Dowd I will cut my uh, isolation beard shortly. But thank you so much for having me to talk about just a great man who was passionate about what he did. Thank you so much. Thank you.